Hello everyone, Yu Yu Artsy here. In this video, I'm going to play a new game called Flag Painters. Basically, Flag Painters is where you carry a flag while you paint it on the way to the flagpole in the correct manner. Will you be able to paint flags the right way, or will it possibly go wrong? Now it's time to find out. Also, make sure to do all three to four things to support my channel. Without being said, let's get this flag painting game started right away. get started with playing flag painters yeah apologies for the first attempt when recording stuff i actually forgot to turn on my microphone before i even started recording so yeah this is the second attempt i'm going to do and also the microphone is turned on really carefully so i know what i'm doing anyways i'm going to open flag painters on my phone and special thanks to voodoo and delac games for sponsoring this game all right, the first flag we're going to do is Poland. And did we finish it? We did! We actually did it! The Poland flag is down. Time to move on to the Japanese flag. So the Japanese flag must have a white background and a red disc. So we know that this is a Japanese flag to be honest. But did we do the Japanese flag right? Believe it or not, I have finished it. Time to move on to the Vietnamese flag in Asia. So the Vietnamese flag should have a red background and oh, there's some extra flags on it. So if you want to re-attempt to do the flag, there's, um, there's a bunch of, yeah, extra white flags just in case you want to re-attempt to doing the flag whenever it goes wrong. to move back to Europe and the reason why we're moving back to Europe because in the next level we are going to do the Kosovo flag so to make the Kosovo flag you must paint the flag blue and have, an, and have a flag map with six stars that represent six states we're now going to continue where we left off. Oh no, the spike strip actually destroyed my blank flag. No problem, we should add more flags and then design it kind of evenly. That sounds like a great plan. Let's do it. And I learned that a Canadian flag has a maple leaf that represents its own country itself. A little later. Uh, you know, seeing this ad reminds me of of becoming a president in, oh, the United States. Uh, that reminds me of the United States flag. So basically this flag should have red and white stripes uh, with Hold on, did I do the United States flag right? We did do it right. All right, time to move on to a very special flag, uh, which is the LGBT flag reminds me of a Pride Day flag. And I've actually learned that the LGBT flag contains of six colors. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. 
That's what makes the LGBT flag so special for me. Yes, I did the LGBT flag correct. <clears throat> Alright, time to move on to the flag of Germany. You know, whenever we do the Germany flag, it reminds me of going back to Europe. So, yeah, that's why we're doing the Germany flag right now. He has an extra white flag, so I'm gonna go grab it. And then we're going to paint the whole flag red. Oh no, I think the spice strip ha is to blame for making the fly really bad for me. Anyways, whoa, look at what we have here. I think these Alright, moving on from there, we are going to do the flag of Turkey. Uh, you know that the flag of Turkey reminds me of having turkey in Thanksgiving Day. Isn't this hilarious? I guess not. Uh, because the word turkey reminds me of having turkey for Thanksgiving, which is the same thing as a turkey as an animal. So we're going to make this flag all red. Uh, and with a white crescent and star that represents Islam. Oh, you better watch out. Today we're going to be doing next the flag of Spain. Hey look, Santa got some Christmassy bags too. So that's why there are lots of sprinkles everywhere. Now that we're done to the flag of Spain, it's time to move on to the second largest continent, Africa. And the country flag we're doing is Nigeria. Uh, because I heard that Nigeria is part of Africa too, so yeah. Well, we have extra flags, but it's midnight blue in color. That's a bunch of Nigeria flags we've done so far, but we got it right. Hey, right, now that we're done with Nigeria, whoa, that's the largest country in, in Europe and Asia, which is Russian Federation, but we should call it Russia for short, because I heard that this has been, uh, been both a country in Europe and Asia. Time to move on to the flag of Ukraine. Got to get the blue stripe on the top and the yellow stripe at the bottom. Right, moving on from there, we're still in Europe but we're going to do the flag of Greece. So the flag of Greece is blue in color. All right, moving on from there. So we're gonna be doing the flag of Thailand. Thailand, but hey, I could do it so far. I want to apologize for, for some glitches so far. I wasn't expecting that. Anyways, we're now gonna move on from there. So, did I do it right? One hour later. We're now doing the flag of Albania. I'm not so sure how I'm going to do the flag of Albania because the last time I did it on the first attempt, I almost failed. I have to make this right, okay? Trust me, viewers. I know I'm going to do this, do this the right way. Did 
I do it right? Yes, I got it right. Yay, I did it. We are now going to South America. And the first flag of South America is Argentina. Hey, that looks like the flag of Brazil. Today we're going to add a sun emblem. Hold on, did I get it right? Yay, I got it right. That means I'll be moving on to the next level. Okay, moving back to Asia, we have the Mongolian flag. Uh, this is some challenging level, but I might get the hang of it. Alright, moving on from there. We're now going to continue painting the Azerbaijan flag. I think the reason why I have opened this game again is because this game has been experiencing a bunch of glitches, but I don't know how this happened. Is it because of software issues? Not happening. And then after that, we're going to add the crossing and start to it. Uh, did, did I make it? Yes, I made it! And this is probably about 88% on this flag, so now I have to move on to the next level. We're going back to South America. Why? Because for our next level, we're going to do the Chile flag, but I really do think this is going to be impossible. What did I do? Who's got into me? Oh yes I won! Oh, I thought I was gonna lose this level. Soon after. Right, back to Europe. We're now going to do the Croatia flag. Oh no, what did I do? Oh no, what have I done? What could possibly go wrong? Oh my god! Uh, not because of those glitches, I lost the level again. You know, this probably reminds me of failing the Azerbaijan flag. And there hasn't stopping yet. Let's just continue. We're going to try again. Well, not bad. At least I need a bit more. But don't worry, this glitching issue should be fixed in the future. And then I'll be able to do more of these. I came here to party. I'm not gonna lie. So call up somebody. Cause I ain't got the time. No, nah, no. Nah. I'm feeling myself in the best way. I'm gonna pretend it's my birthday.
flag of the flag painters gameplay, which is Cameroon. And I just want to apologize. Uh, things have been gone to a really bad start. Uh, first, there were some annoying ads, and now there were some glitches. I can't believe those, those ads really happened in every video, which annoyed me. Uh, you know, I think that's about it. And you know, that should be about it. We're going to continue this the next time I play it. That brings our flag painter's gameplay to a complete close. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I do, but I just want to apologize for experiencing a bunch of glitches and ads for no reason. I believe this is because flickering is usually caused by a software issue which causes result to glitches in apps, games, or software problems. Next time, I'll do more Flag Painters gameplays in peace once I resolve this glitching issue. But until then, check out my channel and subscribe to my channel for more videos created. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now.